Welcome to this edition of Before the Bells. It's December 15th, which means 10 days till Christmas. We're in the Christmas spirit. 240 so hours and roughly 14,400 minutes till I'm opening presents. So. <laughs> what a start to the day. I'm fighting for air in this onesie, but let's have a day, Marshfield. Um, the second holiday concert is tonight at 7, and we, that's our top story today. We want to let you guys know the first one was awesome, and it was a great time, and we actually have a field report from the first one that we're going to get to you guys right now, so let's head into that. I'm Owen Fitzgerald with MSB TV, and I'm here with some of the members from the uh, concert choir, strings, and concert band. Rowan, my guy, what are you guys doing to, in, in order to prepare for the concert? We just uh, play throughout the entire um, class. That's about it. Yeah, a lot of hard work and practice. Awesome work tonight. Jaden, what is your personal favorite song that you performed tonight? I'm a big fan of Take Me Home. Take Me Home is really fun. It has a lot of like, uh, like changes, like a lot of high notes, and I love hitting high notes. It's really good. Yeah, awesome. Great job. Those high notes are pretty good for sure. All right, what's it like to collaborate with the other groups, and how does that affect your overall performance? It's interesting because we don't get to get, have a lot of rehearsals with them. So when we do practice, it's kind of we know them because we're all part of this music department and we all work really well together. So I think because we're both putting in so much effort, it always turns out great. Awesome, yeah, amazing. What is it like to have such an awesome like audience coming out to support you guys? How does that affect the performance? It's super great. Their energy just really like um, pushes us to uh, do better and do our best. And we've been practicing so long that it, it's just a really good night. Awesome. All right, we got the last two from the concert choir. Um, what was your guys' favorite um, songs out of all of them. I'm gonna have to say Hallelujah Chorus because all the pieces have to come together and everyone has to work as like a whole unit in order to make it work and sound good. I would also agree with Maddie on Hallelujah Chorus because all the pieces coming together really makes just like a great community and all the hard work we put in really shows off. Great job tonight guys. Uh, amazing performance as always. You guys sounded really good tonight. There's a concert on Thursday so everyone should, should be there to uh, support these guys. So let's send it back. I'm and again, tonight at 7 o'clock, it's the holiday concert number two. It's going to be a big one. It's going to be good. It's going to be just as good as the first one. They're amazing out there. Yep. It, they sound so angelic, and it's music to your ears. So get out there tonight and go to the holiday concert at 7. And to move on, our club will be meeting today from 2 to 3 p.m. in room 141. They will be preparing for their holiday art sale, so be there to get involved with a fun, creative club. And in other news... Attention class of 2023 seniors, applications for the senior internship program are due this Friday, December 16th. Information regarding the internship as well as the application form can be found on your class canvas page. If you have any questions or need any assistance, please contact or see Dr. Mancello. It's a great opportunity for seniors to get into. It, that's, that's due tomorrow. It's awesome. It's due tomorrow. So, so if you haven't got up on that, get over to Doc. She's a great lady. Get over to her and she'll get you right for the senior internship. But also, we have attention seniors. If you're interested Again. in helping out, plan decorations for the senior night out. There's going to be a meeting on January 11th, which is a Wednesday, because it's at 11.15 in room 237, so we must have an early day that day. If you're looking to help out for snow and senior night out, it's, it's going to be... It's going to be a fun night at Snow, Tony. I can, yeah. I can feel it. So, you know, so if I've you're looking heard, to, heard good things to check it. out the decorations, you know, make it look all nice and, nice and fluffy out there, then <laughs> go do some decorations. Um, there's, I, we're, there's also going to be a Gold Ribbon Awareness Club meeting after school on Wednesday, December 23rd in room 351. They're going to be making holiday cards for the children at Tommy's Place. All are welcome. What an awesome club. That's what a an good awesome cause. cause. Just a great club. We have so many amazing clubs in Marshfield, and that's one of them. And if you're interested in anything like that, please head on over to that meeting. It's a great opportunity. It's an awesome club. Yep. And attention, juniors. The first prom committee meeting will be held Wednesday, December 21st, right after school in room 103. If you're interested in being part of the prom committee, please make plans to attend. Please email Mrs. Weber with any questions. Prom, you know. You like, I, like I said last time, Tony, I'm going to be there. You got to have a good so setup. Those, Sam wants it to look nice. Yeah, it better. It, so, it, it's going to, uh, you guys better one-up ours last year. So I just mean, make sure you're there, get everything all set, and have a, have a fun prom. Yeah. And then, speaking of music, like at the beginning of the show, on Friday, 
which is tomorrow, December 23rd, the MHS Chorus will be caroling at the Ram from 6.30 to 7.15, so stop by and listen. Bring your holiday cheer. And that's, that's not, awesome. December that 23rd, you just walk so up into awesome. school and you just get to hear people sing. It's awesome. Sorry, I don't know why I said that was tomorrow. It's actually going to be a week from tomorrow. I got my dates all wrong. It's I was just so excited about the caroling because well, I'm kind of sad they didn't ask me to carol, though, honestly. Because I, I love singing Christmas songs, but... And in other news, there's an equestrian club meeting on December 20th at 2 p.m. in room 201. All are welcome. Make sure you're there. And that's all we have for today, Marshfield. Let's send it to our buddies, Joe and Cap, who are back on the sports desk. Have a great day, Marshfield. Let's go. Welcome back. Welcome back. I know you missed us. We missed us. I miss you. I, I miss you guys. All right, let's get right into it. Boys and girls track and field slayed the Dragons recently. The girls, as always, had a stellar performance. We have highlights from the girls' performance, so let's send it straight to that. The girls' track team might just be the best team in the school. I mean, they don't lose. They're insane. Oh, the cross-country girls' track combo was just... And the boys' team, also very stellar. In shot put, first three places all went to Marshall boys. Tommy Bongelotti, Dom Devitt, and Cal Salmane took home first, second, and third. And we got some highlights from the boys as well, so let's watch that. Congratulations to the boys, and also 
Congratulations to Sam Devine. He just committed D1 to Bryant, so applause D to him. D1 Devine. Wrestling. Fought hard, but couldn't pull out against a strong New Bedford team. We do have a field report for that, so let's just send it to that. Brady Boney here after the Marshfield Rams wrestling home opener. I'm with Paul, Nate, and Owen. Um, Paul, you know, you won, uh, won the tournament last week. Got a pin here tonight. What have you done to make yourself so effective early in the season? Um, I've, been, I've been wrestling year round, trying to get better, um, be the hardest worker in the room. Yeah, that's pretty much that. Really shows, really shows. Nate Lang, you had a battle going to the third period, tied up. What was your thought process to get you to win that match? Yeah, I knew I was in the lead and he was tired. I just had to make control, maintain control, and not get pinned. That was pretty much it. Owen, you know, you dominated tonight, absolutely dominated. What have you done in practice to make you just so good so far? Uh, we've just been hitting our moves every day, been doing the same thing, trying to get our set down, uh, take down and attack, keep going. Uh, we've been hitting off-season clubs, a bunch of us, so we're just trying to get as good as we can by the end of the year because we're a super young team. A bright future ahead for our Rams, and now let's send it back to the desk. Boys wrestling, they're, they're a good program. They fight hard. And yeah. New Bedford's a great team. Yeah. The boys, the, keep your head up. May not have a lot of kids, but they have, they have good kids. Girls hockey lost an absolute nail-biter, 3-2, to two, to Whitman Hanson and Silver Lake. That's six towns against one. The girls, you held your own. The girls were scored by Kayla Leonard and Gabby Reardon. Great job fighting. Overtime loss, it's hard, but it was a great game. Boys hockey came out the gates firing on all cylinders, beating P North in a 7-1 to one blowout. The barrage of goals were scored by Ryland McLean with Boom. two. Boom. Kevin Getrick, two. Boom. Connor Merrick Boom. had one. Steve Farley Boom. had one. Boom. And Jack Croft. Boom. We have a highlight. Tomorrow. 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 So we'll look at that tomorrow. Tomorrow night, the boys' home opener for basketball is also festive clothes come out, holiday themed, cheer the boys as they go up against Hano. Play the McGettrick. Let's play one thing though. Cam Getrick, let's see your stellar girl from earlier. Look at this. Comes behind the net. Oh. Wait. Oh, I'll replay that. Hold on. <laughs> I want to see that again. What an angle. Oh, I mean, how how the puck even go in? I don't even <laughs> I don't even see the puck. Neither do the goalie. <laughs> I'm just as lost as a goalie on that one. That was I just dangling back and forth. That was magic. He Cam, you are a wizard. That's all we have today, Marshfield. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash before the bells. You can also follow us on our Twitter, MSBTV, or on TikTok, MSBTV underscore. As always, Marshfield, cough in your elbow. Have a fabulous Friday. It's Thursday.